Now, I don't know if any of you guys ever struggle with this as well, but let me give you an example. So TQQQ was incredibly bullish during, you know, right at market open. I didn't trade it, right? I saw it to be too overbought too quickly. I had FOMO, but I was like, okay, I need to respect that I completely missed this rally. Now that it's finally pulling on back, I'm wanting to enter TQQQ for the idea of this thing to recover, but... Now it's showing signs of it being a little bit weaker. Again, I just don't want to overtrade, and I feel like this is a challenge that a lot of traders are faced with on a daily basis. But just want to share with you kind of my current thoughts. I also wanted to share with you why the market just pre market opened PCE income spending, meaning that PCE came in as expected and personal income came in as a a little bit lower than was expected. Um, when it comes down to Chicago PMI that was released around 15 minutes after the market opened, came in again a little bit higher than it did last year. They have been bearish, which is why, again, I'm just bulls. Anything new? There's nothing new t that was said. by simple. Uh, all of that buying pressure come on in. So. Again, I like to view this as a perfect example of headline the last trading day of the month. And again, what better time for Apple to hit $3 trillion than today when it was already so close. So you guys can make of what you want of it. There is no actual fundamental reason on what caused Apple to actually indicate signs of an uptrend, but to not overcomplicate it. Again, this is why I'm paying attention to TQQQ. And if I get confirmation of higher highs and higher lows above the EMA, I'll enter probably for a short little um, day trade and then try to sell as close to the resistance at around 41 24 41 25 i'm probably going to keep my position size pretty small uh, if i can walk away with one or two thousand dollars profit on that quick little trade then so be it i'll end my friday with a light little green day again i am going to be posting update on my trades in the trade idea section with our lpp team and if you want to watch me trade live every day and if you want these updates that's that second link in the description down below i hope and wish you guys an amazing fourth of july weekend please be safe Spend time with your friends, family, and loved ones. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.